Berman, Walter Berman. I think we should pay him a visit. Well, he's not going to tell us anything. Now, if we do it right, he just might. Trust me. It's a wonderful feeling to have a son you can trust to take care of things in your absence. And I want you to do everything you can to help him. Paragraph. If I do contact anyone, it'll be James. So until then, keep up the good work. And you can expect a bonus when I return. That's it. Are you sure you can copy J.R.'s signature? I'm an artist. Besides, I've seen it a million times. I assume, then, that <clears throat> there's no truth to that. <laughs> Do I have to be honest? Uh, yes, I, 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 think, I think you should. <sighs> well, it's not like I jumped into bed with every man I saw. He was just so awful to me that I... Well, you know, only a couple of times. Uh-huh. And uh, does your husband have the same sort of evidence that you do? Oh, good heavens, no. I always went out of town for the weekend. I was real careful. <laughs> uh, does your husband know any of these men? Well, only his brother. But I'm sure he wouldn't say anything. <sighs> Can I get you another drink? <coughs> no, <coughs> thank you. What I would like is to uh, see whatever evidence you have uh, against your husband. Oh, well, um, that's right upstairs in the bedroom. It's in a big box. Can you help me with it? <coughs> Why don't you stay here? I'll, I'll go get it. Stay! Oh, God. What is this? Let go! What is this? What, what, what the hell is going on here? I'll just take in some pictures to show her husband. What is this? What do you want? What, give me that camera. I'm afraid I lied again. I'm not Mrs. Hessler. She's Mrs. J.R. Ewing, and he's going to be mighty upset to see what you're doing behind his back. Mrs. Ewing? That's right. And to think the lawyer he trusted to get him out of the sanitarium was carrying on like this with his wife. What the hell do you want from me? Give me that. We want J.R.'s release papers. And then we want you to take a nice, long trip. You're crazy. I know J.R. Ewing. If I don't show up there tomorrow, I'm a dead man. Well, I know J.R. too. And if I show him these pictures, you're going to wish you were dead. See, um, we have these very important papers we have to give to him, so we need you out of the way. We've got tickets for you to go on a nice, long cruise. You can even take somebody with you. And by the time you get back, maybe J.R. will have cooled off. Besides, eventually we'll let him know that it wasn't your fault. Oh, my God. We'll be seeing him real soon. Oh, he's back in Dallas. No, but we know where he is. Uh -huh. Well, I have just been going over a list of JR's assets. He is a very rich man. Yeah, isn't he, though? In addition to those, I'm sure that there are bank accounts squirreled away in other places. So we're checking into that right now. Yeah, I told her that 200,000 JR gave her didn't mean anything to him. Exactly. I mean, you are going to come out of this a very wealthy woman. Now, I have uh, taken the liberty of drawing up a property settlement. If you would just get Mr. Ewing to sign it, it would save us all a lot of time and what might be a messy divorce. I bet J.R. isn't going to sign that. He's not going to give me anything he doesn't have to. On the other hand, we do have some leverage. He does what we want, and we do what he wants. That's right, we do. Um, I have not addressed one subject. Child custody and visitation. No visitation and no chance of custody. He is never going to touch this child. Unfortunately, that will be for the courts to decide. Not if the courts and J.R. don't know that I'm pregnant. As far as I'm concerned, he's never going to know that I had a baby. That seems rather harsh, Mrs. Ewing. Whatever I do to him, he deserves. <laughs>